Here we go, grade three students. Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And coming up, I will help you prepare for your hardest examination. It's the mathematics application examination. This is the first in a series of tests to cover all the questions you will encounter on these examinations. So get your paper and pencil ready. Here we go. Question one. Ray buys a jar with 15 marbles. Mike buys a jar with 10 marbles. How many marbles do they buy all together? Ray buys a jar with 15 marbles. Mike buys a jar with 10 marbles. How many marbles do they buy all together? Work it quickly and see if you can come up with an answer for question one. Question two, place an X on the circle in the middle. Then write the ordinal position of the circle with the X on it. Place an X on the circle in the middle. Then write the ordinal position of the circle with the X on it. Remember, teachers, if the students cannot read a word, you are required to call it for them if they raise their hand. So encourage them to do that. They may not know that word ordinal. Question three. Each square on this grid is one unit wide and one unit long. Find the perimeter of the shaded shape. Again, here, perimeter is a word they may not be able to call. If they raise their hand and ask, you must call it for them. Each square on this grid is one unit wide and one unit long. Find the perimeter of the shaded shape. Remember, math is not reading. So if they can't call a word, you have to read it for the child. Question four. Pam and Kim share a bag of peanuts. Pam takes one-fifth of the peanuts and Kim takes two-fifths of the peanuts. A. What fraction of the peanuts do both girls take? B. What fraction of the peanuts is left in the bag? Pam and Kim share a bag of peanuts. Pam takes one-fifth of the peanuts and Kim takes two-fifths of the peanuts. A. What fraction of the peanuts do both girls take? And B. What fraction of the peanuts is left in the bag? Question 5. Clem bought a chicken snack for $5 and a drink for $1. He paid the cashier with a $10 note. How much change did he receive? Clem bought a chicken snack for $5 and a drink for $1. He paid the cashier with a $10 note. How much change did he receive? Work it quickly, grade three. And we move on to question six. Fran and her friend shared six cupcakes equally. How many cupcakes did each person receive? Fran and her friend shared six cupcakes equally. How many cupcakes did each person receive? And we move on to question seven. Write the correct name for this geometrical symbol. Write the correct name for this geometrical symbol. Spell it as best as you can. Just put an answer. And we move on to question eight. Mary made pizza for dinner. Divide the pizza into two equal pieces. Mary made pizza for dinner. Divide the pizza into two equal pieces. Ensure that students use a straight edge or a ruler.
and we move on to question nine. Wendy spent one hour at the library. She left the library at 7 p.m. At what time did she arrive at the library? Wendy spent one hour at the library. She left the library at 7 p.m. At what time did she arrive at the library? And last but not least, question 10. Larry cut a piece of rope that was 10 meters long into three pieces. One piece was two meters long and another piece was five meters long. How long was the third piece of rope? Larry cut a piece of rope that was 10 meters long into three pieces. One piece was two meters long, another piece was five meters long. How long was the third piece of rope? Do it quickly. You know, answers are coming up. And here we go. Here come the answers, guys. Mark them and see what you get. And question one. Ray buys a jar at 15 marbles. Mike buys a jar at 10 marbles. How many marbles do they buy all together? Yeah, you have to add 15 and 10. You get 25. Answer, 25 marbles. Mark it. Hope you got it correct. You did not have to regroup. And we move on to question two. Place an X on the circle in the middle. Then write the ordinal position of the circle with the X on it. And that circle would be in the second position. You have to write second two with ND at the top. Or they spell the word second, S-E-C-O-N-D. In short, they know ordinals and why you put the letters at the top. First would be ST, second ND, third RD. Question three. Each square on this grid is one unit wide and one unit long. Find the perimeter of the shaded shape. So you mark each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the answer? Eight units. That's correct. That's the perimeter. Question four. Pam and Kim share a bag of penis. Pam takes one fifth and Kim takes two fifths. Add one fifth and two fifths, you get one plus two over five, and it's three fifths. What fraction of penis is left in the bag if they took three fifths? Then it's five fifths minus three fifths, you get two fifths. Got it? Fractions, you gotta know how to do these. Question five Clem bought a chicken snack for five dollars and a drink for a dollar. He paid the cash with a $10 note. How much change did he receive? So you add the $5 and the $1, you get $6. That's what you do first. Then you subtract it from $10 and you get $4. Okay, you can just count on to get the answer from six. Answer is $4. But if you subtract, you would need to know how to rename. Question six. Fran and her friend shared six cupcakes equally. So here I am sharing the cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each person would receive how many? Three cupcakes is the answer. So you're dividing six. It's six divided by two and you get three. Question seven, write the correct name for this geometrical symbol. What's this geometrical symbol? That big word, make sure you call it for them. It has something to do with geometry. And it is a line, yes. Goes on in both directions, so it's a line. Question eight. Mary made pizza for dinner, divide a piece in two equal pieces. Make sure to use a rule or straight edge. It has to be at about the middle, across or down, anyone. But you use one line to divide it into two equal pieces. So anyway, they do it once it's about half, they get the points. And question nine, Wendy spent one hour at the library. She left the library at 7 p.m. At what time did she arrive? She spent an hour, so she left at seven, seven, take away one, six. So she arrived at 6 p.m.
And lastly, question 10. Larry cut a piece of rope that was 10 meters long into three pieces. So if the first piece was two meters long, 10 take away two is eight. If the other piece was five meters long, eight take away five is three. So that would leave the last piece would be three meters long. Hope you got those questions correct. If not, go back over. Remember, this is only test one. You will soon have other tests coming up similar to this that will test your knowledge. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one, God willing. That's a wrap.